pray that God speak to me. God speak to me. God speak to me. Oh, Shandari Manana Sunday. Yes, Lord. Bless you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Quickly, we. This is the year of what we call what? We harvest. Harvest. A year of harvest. And the harvest. Is in threefold. Number one is the harvest of what? Souls. Harvest of second is the harvest of finances. And third is the harvest of miracles. And this year, that's our focus. We want to make sure we'll reach our families, our friends for Jesus. Amen? Amen. And we have at least built the foundation on the issue of soul winning. And I believe you are taking advantage of the cities. And then not only that, you begin to act the word. Tell somebody do the word. No, you didn't say, say do the word. And so, the Bible says that souls were added to the church daily. So it's your duty to make sure minimum you, you come to church on Sunday with two people. Maximum should be six people. How many of you want your friends to go to hell? Nobody? Okay. How many of you want your family to, to go to hell? Your siblings to go to hell? How many of you want sinners to go to hell? Yes. We are the agent of God on earth. We are the ambassadors of Christ here. Are you here? You saw about that um, souls have been won every day. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Have you seen the sea? We have a lot of fishermen who have been trained daily. To do what? Uh, to fish. Thousands and millions of them all over the world. Do we still have fish in the sea? A lot of them. Are you here? So the world is like the sea. Fishermen are we Christians that have been trained. And the fish that we see them in the sea are souls that are not saved in the world. So in as much as we depend on the fishermen to bring fish from the sea, the same way God depends on us to bring sinners from the world. Did you get it? Hmm? What? Tell somebody, I am a fisherman. And so I will fish. Oh, yes. Remember Kai. when Lazarus and, and the rich man, especially the rich man was in hell, and Lazarus was in Abraham's bosom. Lazarus, not Abraham Kukumu. Remember what the rich man said. He said, Abraham, Abraham, would you please allow? Lazarus to go to the earth and talk to my brothers who are unsaved because I don't want them to come here because this place is tormented and I don't want them to be here now tell somebody don't experience it before you believe because the world tells you see before you believe but God tells you believe before you see 
Are you here? Uh-huh. So there's rich man was in hell and didn't want any of his siblings to be there. And look at what Abraham said. He said, no, nobody can come from this place and go to the earth to preach the gospel to them. He said, we are prophets. We are believers. If they don't hear them, that is it. Let me tell you something. I, I, I know, I know that said, the truth of the matter is that God is in control. But the revelation is that we are in control. Are you here? I'll teach you something. If you don't go, God will not go. And so this is very important. Tell somebody, preach to someone about Christ and bring the person to church. It's over that they need to preach to them, allow them to go where they want to go. No. If where you are you are really blessed you've got to direct people to come to where you are are you here this is very important tell somebody so winning and say I am a so winner yeah, so we cover some ground and make sure you do it tell somebody make sure you do it mm-hmm. 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 and then about three weeks ago we started or a month ago we started talking about the second aspect of the harvest, which is harvest of what? Finances. The first day, we dealt with what you call greater than what? Solomon is here. The second day, we talk about what? Uh, Thy seeds are all nations of the earth be blessed. And the first Sunday we talked about the commandment of the Lord. Okay. Now we will deal with so many areas in your finances. And prophetically, some of you are going to discover what your purposes there are so many Christians who are in wrong business and the Lord will help you no you didn't say amen you didn't say amen I told you the other day I asked a woman I said go and sell charcoal charcoal I have my master's and he said charcoal charcoal he started with small one bag to another one and within two years he was supplying charcoal everywhere I'm talking about in this long tree and his friends that work in the bank have started borrowing money from him. Now he travels outside the country. Now, why do you work? Do you work because you love the government? Or you love your boss? Why do you work? I work because of say cash. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. I work because some of you came in with a taxi today. Okay. After you got out of the taxi, and then the taxi driver said, Okay, and then you said, I'm born again. That's the money. Get ready for dirty slap. Are you here? Your come up Sunday should bring money. Are you here? So money is important. Are you here? Listen, I've told you before I finish this series. By September end then. September, oh, get ready for promotion. I said get ready for promotion. Some of you have parents that you don't take care of them. Because you don't have. But now you have. I said but now you have. Some of you, eh, some prophets say your parents are rich. And so don't give them money. After this series, you are going to give your parents money. Say yes! Yes! 
Yes. Are you here? And some of you, you know, African, we have had this mentality for years. And I believe we've got to jeopardize it. What mentality? I'm taking good care of you, my daughter. So that when you grow and you get money, so that you also come and take care of me. 